What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Show. Historically, after the release of an analog device, jailbroken firmware is made public by a mysterious benefactor. In the case of the analog pocket, this anticipated jailbreak hasn't yet been forthcoming even after a couple of months. This has led to some consternation among a few individuals having no physical games, but a hope and a desire to play them directly off of the device. In the interim of waiting for a supposed jailbreak firmware, a couple of talented individuals devised a workaround for sideloading patched Game Boy games. Within a month's time, the list of available games has expanded to cover many of the popular Game Boy and Game Boy Color games. In this video, I will walk you through the process of patching and creating your own dot pocket games for sideloading. Link to the tools used in the description below. Getting started, you'll want to make sure that you have a micro SD card to hold your games. While any micro SD card will work, I recommend that you get one that is 32 gigabytes or more for future updates. The card can be formatted as FAT32 or XFAT. If you'll be formatting in FAT32, I recommend that you use the tool known as FAT32 Format. Format the SD card, renaming it something that you can remember. In this example, I renamed it Pocket. You'll also want to ensure that you're on the latest Pocket firmware, which is of the time of this video, version 1B. This will update the functionality of GB Studio, expanding the maximum capacity of games to 120, while fixing its save feature. Head to the Update section for the Analog Pocket. Click on download to grab the .bin file. Place the file directly onto the root of your SD card. Place the SD card into your pocket and then power it on to start the update. Do not power off your console during this process. The console will reboot upon completion. If you are updating the dock, place the updated pocket firmly into the dock to begin its update. A message will appear on screen. Select the right action button to confirm and begin the update. Once you finish updating your devices, place the SD card back into the PC and delete the firmware. Now you're ready to get some games patched and ready to move over to the pocket. Create a folder on your desktop and name it GB Studio. Next, head to Jimmy Duck Egg's Start Select webpage then click on Pocket Patches in the upper right. Near the top of the page, you will find a Retro Patcher link. Right click on this link, then open it in a separate tab. 
The Retro Patcher is an online patching tool created by John Abrams for dot pocket patches. As long as the MD5 checksum of the ROM matches the online database, a download link will appear for each dot pocket file. If you need to check your ROM's MD5 checksum, I recommend you use the MD5 file checksum tool. You'll want to open the dev's patch notes and compare the MD5 against the ROMs that you have in two separate windows. Create a folder on your desktop for your ROM files to be patched, then move the files into the folder. Click on the select GBGBC ROM file on the retro patcher, then navigate to the newly created folder. Select your ROM file to patch. If a patch is found, an apply and save button will appear and allow you to click to download the patched file. In the case of some games, multiple patches may also appear for download. When downloading multiple files, be sure to rename each .pocket file for your own convenience. Jimmy has graciously taken it upon himself to compile all of the .pocket patches into one master list on his webpage for easy viewing. The list is split by console, then has the specific regions of the ROMs needed, as well as the software dev who created the patch. Clicking on the name of the dev next to the patch name will take you directly to the patch in question. Once you have your .pocket files, place them into the GB Studio folder, then move the entire folder onto the root of your SD card. You may place the SD card back into your pocket and give each game a playtest. With the pocket on, scroll down to Tools, then GB Studio. Select Play Creations, then select the dot .pocket file of your choosing. Dot .pocket files run off the SD card can take advantage of any of the features of their Game Boy and Game Boy Color counterparts. This includes display mode settings as well as color palettes in analog GB mode. Game Boy Color Pocket files that are backwards compatible can also be forced to run in Game Boy mode in order to mimic the effect of being played in consoles that predated it. However, if you try to play Game Boy Color games that are not backwards compatible in Game Boy mode, you'll be treated to that game's specific error message locking you out of play. If you would like to force the game into a specific mode, navigate to Systems, then GB, then finally Hardware. Save states can be used in the same manner as if you were using a cartridge. Sleep and wake functionality is also applied to dot .pocket files. Booting a game in GB Studio for the first time will create a dot .save file in the GB Studio slash saves folder. 
these files can be backed up for preservation of your gameplay. These files can also be ported over to flash carts such as the EverDrive GBX7. Finally, games that make use of the real-time clock and link cable functionality are not supported in GB Studio mode. I would like to take out the time to give a shout out to everyone who has made these patches possible. First, to the software devs, Jose JX, Best Pig, and Infinis. Between the three of them, we now have over 400 patches to choose from. Jose wanted me to express that if you guys find any bugs within these patched games, to contact him via GitHub or Reddit. Next, to John Abrams who developed his Retro Patcher, which provides for exceptionally easy patching. Finally, to Jimmy Duck Egg and to the Analog subreddit for keeping the IPS patch list up to date and in an accessible place for easy perusal. I'll leave a link in the description below to where each can be found. Much appreciated, guys. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. What's your favorite Game Boy game? Do you have a game on this system that you would like to recommend? Any questions for me concerning this video? Let me know in the comments section. If you like this video, consider dropping a sub or a like. Also, why not check this video out? Peace.